You you ready? I'm ready. Also ready. Ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh hi. Hi there. Did, were you expecting someone else? Go for it, huh? Did you did you go on a golf cart ride? Coach you telling me? For the fun? Hey. Hey, what's up? Can I get an audible recommendation? For the viewers yeah man um atomic habits okay classic yeah um also uh what's that book called peterson 12 hold up on your phone i don't know what it is being a man that's not it i don't know right now jordan b peterson that's what i'm listening to okay actually 12 uh rules for life 12 rules for life good good, good. yeah Antidote to chaos. Yeah. I like it. I like the phrasing there. He's kind of crazy, but he's fun. He is. So I've been doing less of like the personal development, self-help type of stuff, and actually listening to fiction. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mom really likes the inspirational stuff. Yeah. He's the only person in the family that doesn't appreciate Audible is, is you. When we're in the truck, like when I'm taking her to school, it's a no-go. No it's got to be music. That's yep. Fair. Right now, what I'm listening to is uh, the Going Home series. I read it when I was younger, but now I'm listening to it. And it's like it's like binging your favorite show that's not, it's not a masterpiece, but it's just really entertaining and just you keep coming back. I'm on the fifth audiobook, and it's, it's great. But whether you're looking for fiction or nonfiction, I'm outside because there's music blasting inside. Abby's listening to music. Fiction, nonfiction, uh, autobiographies, biographies, sleep sounds. Hey. Are we getting in the pool again? She got in the pool respite earlier, which is good. It's I'm, I'm happy that you got in the pool. This dog, so many distractions. I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you about this. Guided meditation, fitness and wellness, self-help, really anything that you're in the mood for. It, it fits whatever mood. What's up? Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Go to audible.com forward slash fathering autism or you can text fathering autism to 500 500 to try out Audible. Anytime I'm redesigning a room at Selfie World or working on a vehicle or when I was on my motorcycle ride or any of those things that I do that I can put headphones in and listen to something, I'm pretty much always listening to something. And they just added the Plus catalog to Audible. Not just, it's new-ish, but awesome. Tons of titles, every genre you can think of uh, that you can, you know, listen to your heart's content every single month. Okay, let's pause this real quick. Or not. Pause, pause, there we go. Hey, can you, uh, can you film for me? Yeah, man, what Thanks. do you need? Can I use you as a model real quick, Abigail? Come here for me. What is this? I know. It's so funny. Come here. Someone asked a question and I want to show them. Okay, so we had talked about with Abby laying on the floor. Mm -hmm. So she's doing that a lot more now. Yeah. I remember when she did that when she was younger. She yeah, just yeah, yeah. lay down everywhere. So we're doing that again. So someone had asked, like, they want to see how we're going to go about that. So hold on. Wait a okay. sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Okay. Hey, can you sit on the floor? Sit, sit, sit down on the floor. For me. So excited. Right sit down on the floor. Sit down. There we go. Can you lay down? Lay down and squeeze or something. Just lay down. No? That's fine. Sitting's fine. Good job standing up. Nice. Good job. Wait, wait. Sit down again. Can you sit down for me? Sit down. Okay, I'll help you. I'll help you down. Because it's a pain in the butt getting up and down. Go ahead, sit down for me. Come on, sit on the, sit on the ground right here. Sit right here for a sec. Ready? Sit down. Sit down. There Good listening. Go. Good job. Okay, you ready? Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Good job. All right. Nice. Thank you so much. And that's kind of what we're going to do is we're going to reinforce that getting up off the ground when we say to over and over in ridiculous situations like when we just walk through the living room or anywhere else. Um, when we go to stores, you know, any chance that we have, like, okay, hey, sit right here and then get her to get up again real right. quickly. Right. Right. And that's going to kind of set the precedent for... Not just what is expected, but she knows that like so much praise goes into it and all that. It's, 
you know, it's, it's what we're going to have to do because when you're in the moment and she's laying on the floor like that, mm-hmm. um, and doesn't want to get up, that's not the time to try to learn something. Definitely. You know, when yeah. like, we're laying down in a grocery store. Yeah. For example. That makes sense. So we can learn it in less abrasive situations where mom and dad aren't going to get frustrated right. where it's, where it's strictly a learning thing. And that's, and we do that with a lot of things. Like we take scenarios where it's easier for us to control the situation and we can kind of plan ahead. Like what if she didn't get off the ground? Mm-hmm. I can wait it out, you mm-hmm. know? And if we need to use like edible reinforcers, we can, like we can step it up, mm-hmm. but I'm going to use as little, least of a, as little of a reinforcer as possible. Right. So, gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. I like that. So that's it. That makes sense. They had asked, somebody wanted to see exactly how, what that was going to look like. That's pretty much it for now. As it changes, I'll let you know. It's a little more simplistic than I think people may expect, but it is like, sure. yeah, it's, it's really, but it's easy. very effective, like in everything. Yeah. It's a very effective method. Yeah. That's why Abby goes to the store and she does all the things with therapy and everything. Then she mm-hmm. comes back and she learns how to go to the store. Yeah. Good job, Ab. Thanks for helping people learn. Nice. Nice thumbs up. Psychology. That, that was a really good line. What did you say? I just said it's, it's like class before a test. Like it's yeah. the same concept of just learning in a less abrasive, you know, high stakes environment and then applying that to real life. Right. Not that testing is, but you know what I mean? That's a separate conversation. Psychology major over here. It's really easy, man. I know it is, but that you, it's, you know, you understand your stuff well. Yeah, uh, yeah. It is very, I don't know. My knowledge is definitely not textbook though. I'm bad about that. Mine is very like. Life experience. Life experience and very like fundamental stuff sure. that I get. Common sense. Common sense. Street like Street smarts. <laughs> yeah, street smarts. I, I know that I'm. Asking you to do things, but come on. Her little reaction was something. Don't don't be mad. (laughs) So the coming upstairs, when you're asked to do so, noise where it becomes not an option, right? Go ahead. Taking pills. That was another part. That's another part of it. Is that it's not an option. We're gonna do it regardless. And then when we're done, nice work. Good job. Thank you so much. Good job. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Something I forgot to mention is that all of those things are transferable. That skill of even just listening, you know, when asked to do something and doing it, that's a transferable skill, just like you have transferable skills. You learn something in one area, it transfers over to another area. You're able to utilize that, what you learned over here, over here, you know what I'm saying? So that is definitely transferable, but that's the same thing that we did with learning to take pills. There is no other option but for this to happen and uh, this is what we're gonna do, and you gotta work up to it, and it, it was hard, and it was, you know, it's not fun for anybody involved, but now there's no pushback, and we, we just, she takes the pills that she needs to help her, um, so, you know, at the end of the day, it works, it's a good thing. It causes no stress in her life, and that's really our goal with all of it, right? Short-term stress, um, short-term resistance, short-term issues that we had, on taking the pills has now turned into just an everyday thing. It's no big deal. Is he just trying to get his vlog finished for the day? Yep. So there's this bit he does in his vlog where there's two of him. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen it? It's kind of it's kind of dorky. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it too. Said. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. The antics around here, y'all. Isaiah, um, on his way out to a friend's house, he said, "Hey, um." If you want me to take Abby in the morning, I, I can do that. I want to get up and, you know, get going, do stuff. And it's like, oh, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. That, that, you know, the monotony of, I love taking her to school. I love just having that time with her in the morning. But that drive every day, every single day, it's greatly appreciated. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.